everybody doing? Doing good. You know, I think you were a free agent this year. Um, just what led to your decision to return uh, to the team and just how many, I guess, teams were sort of uh, a possibility for you? Um, honestly, it would probably be the relationship with a lot of my teammates. I, look, I work well with them. Um, the conversation we, I've had with, uh, Coach, with Coach Joe, Joe Cullen, I feel like he's the type of coach I've really been looking for right now to really up my game to the next level. What has Joe done for you so far that, that leads you to say that? Uh, he challenges me. He really does. He expects a lot out of me, and he should challenge me every day. So every day, it's a mission. Like, what are we doing today? How can we get better? How fast? How hard can we play? So I'm always up for the challenge. What do you think Carlos Dunlap is bringing to the group now that, now that you've practiced with him for the past few days? He brings a lot of leadership. He's been in the league for how many years, man? Uh, I used to train with him back, uh, back in Bomberia a couple years back. Just get some words of wisdom with him. And since he's been here, he's been doing his part to try to throw any bit of nuggets to anybody on the D-line. Um, so, yes, he, has great, he brings a lot of great leadership to the team, to the D-line. How much has he changed since you, you said you trained with him a few years ago? Yes. How much has he changed from then to now? I mean, it's hard to say. I was I trade him just in off season. He's been on, uh, he's been through a whole season of two years. So it's hard to say until he gets his, the leash has gone to him to go full go. And that's when I'll really get to see. But he's been showing great promises so far. What do you think the D-line is right now? And uh, can you explain that question? Just, uh, as far as like, Training camp, where do you guys, uh, where, are, where do you guys think you are? Just an evaluation. There's still more work to do. Uh, do you feel like uh, you guys are where you want to be right now? I mean, in the midst of training camp, I want to say we want to be here. But what I'm saying is we're in a good spot right now, but there's always room for improvement. We always try to get better than yesterday. So I feel like we're going the right direction. This defense buried that pretty well last year as far as generating pressure on the quarterback. But it was getting sacks and getting the quarterback down. That was sometimes the challenge. What is the approach? What is, what, is, what is specifically maybe Joe coming in and teaching you guys and sharing with you guys as far as getting in those pressures and turning into the uh, He brings it into pretty much three steps of the rush. And he emphasizes it every day to trying to, from the approach to the combat zone to the finish, he brings it every, there's every, into details every single step of a rush. So I feel like with that, it gives a more of a bonus per se to our, our pass rushes in our interior line. What, what does Stunts do to those pass rushes? Is that a nice switch up or something y'all would be looking to depend on maybe not Stunts? Yeah. Oh, we've been doing stunts for a while. Um, I feel like it gives, we can do stunts on a run and a pass. So it gives about a lot of dynamic to what we can do. We've got a preseason game coming up. Like, granted, you know, the starters probably won't be seeing a lot of time, but like, as a veteran, what are you telling some of the young guys who might see extended action against the Bears? Um, don't second guess yourself. Uh, follow your coaching. Trust yourself, and just play. They've been playing for how many years? Four, three years in college, or how many years they've been in the league? It's the preseason. Just play. Do what you've been coached to do. If there's anything the coach wanted you to improve on, that's to be a good chance to do it after that. They go watch the film, corrections, and that's how it goes. Just trust yourself. Don't overthink and just play. It looks like the run defense is stepping up for y'all during camp. What's it like for you and Chris eating up those, those blocks in the interior? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, what's it like eating up those interior run blocks in the interior versus the run? What's it like? Uh, it's a little bittersweet, you know. No one really likes having 600 pounds on you, but it's a good job when you get it done. Um, honestly, me personally, when you get that sweet spot of holding a double team and you're not mo nothing's moving behind, you're not moving backwards, it's a real nice feeling. But yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, Derek. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. 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 Thanks.